Good morning, beloved. Happy Wednesday to you. This is April Bird coming with your daily word of encouragement. Today, my topic is going to be your due season is coming. And the scripture verse I'm going to use is Galatians 6 and 9. And it reads, do not be weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you do not faint. So, beloved, today, uh, Paul is writing to the church of Galatia and he's letting them know, do not be weary in well-doing, for in due season you will reap if you do not faint. So, beloved, don't grow weary. I know in your well-doing, I know in my well-doing, sometimes when you feel like you're doing the right thing, you're trying to do the right thing and things are not favorable, favorable for you, it can be discouraging. And I do understand. But Paul is writing to the church of Galatia, and I believe he's writing to us today. Do not be weary in well-doing. Because in doing well, that's what we should be doing. We should be doing the right thing because we are believers. We should be living a righteous life because we are righteous through Jesus Christ. And sometimes it gets weird. We get weary because we're trying to do the right thing and things are not favorable, favorable for us. They're not looking up for us. And it's easy to get weary because we remember, beloved, we're housed in this flesh and in this flesh dwells no good thing. Beloved, do not be weary in well doing. Keep doing good, beloved. God sees everything. God sees every good deed. God sees every bad deed. But God sees us, beloved. So your due season is going to come, but it says, do not be weary in well-doing, but in due season. And our due season, only God knows when he's going to reward us. That's God's business because beloved, we operate on chronological time, but God operates on Kairos time, Kairos time, heavenly time. One day to us is a thousand years to God. I know that's discouraging, beloved, because we live in this microwave society. We want things to be instantaneously, but they don't always come out that way, beloved. Chronological and Kairos times are two different times. We're on this human time and God is on heavenly time. So remember that when you're when you become you're becoming weary, beloved, that your due season is not in our time. It's in God's time. God knows when it, when enough is enough. God knows when to move on a situation. God knows what he's doing. He's building character. He's doing what's best for us. All things work together for the good of those who love you, love the Lord and those who have been called according to his purpose, beloved. Do not be weary in well-doing, but in due season, you will reap if you do not faint. So, beloved, we cannot faint. We have to keep pushing, beloved. We cannot faint. The race has not been given to the swift nor to the strong, but the one who endured to the end, beloved. Keep on enduring, beloved. God will give you the grace. God has given all of us the grace to continue to move forward. So whatever it is today, beloved, I pray today that you remember Galatians 6 and 9. When Paul talking to the church of Galatia, do not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, you will reap if you do not faint. We cannot faint, beloved. We got it. It's not for the faint in heart. At heart, we have to keep pushing, beloved. Keep praying to God. Keep believing in God. Keep trusting him. Happy is the man who put his trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct our path. Beloved, God has the answers for us. Our due season is coming. Although it might look gloomy, our due season is coming, beloved. So do not be weary in well-doing. Keep doing well, beloved. Keep doing the right thing, beloved. When things are not favorable for you, when things are coming up against you wrong, when you're trying to do right, keep doing the right thing, beloved, because God sees you. God sees you. Not one tear that you have that you have shed will go unnoticed to God. God will wipe away all of your tears, beloved. God loves us so much, beloved. God wants what's best for us. He is our father. What father would not want what's best for his children? Be not weary in well-doing. Keep doing well. 
Keep encouraging people. Keep loving people in spite of how they treat you, beloved. Keep loving them. Keep getting up when you fall down. Keep getting up. Don't stay down, beloved. Do not be weary in well-doing because in due season, in due season, Kairos time versus chronological time, but in due season, beloved, we shall reap if we do not faint. And I believe God. I'm just crazy enough to believe God. I am just crazy enough to believe God that he is real, that he hears me, and that he knows when, en when enough is enough. Beloved, I am just grateful to God because he loves us so much. So, beloved, be encouraged today. I pray that something I said that would uh, encourage you and that you were blessed today and that you will not be weary in well-doing, that you will keep doing what you know to do is right. And do not allow someone else's actions to cause you to get off track. Because, beloved, everyone has to give an account to God for what they do in this body. We don't do tit for tat. We allow God to fight for us. We allow God to get back. Vengeance is his. He shall repay. So, beloved, we got to keep doing right. Keep doing right. Because in due season, we, we shall reap. If we do not faint. And this race is not for the faint in heart. And with God, all things are possible. He has given us the strength to do everything we need to do, beloved. We can do it. Exceedingly. God is going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can even think or act according to the power that work, work in us, beloved. So don't grow weary. Keep pushing, beloved. Every day, keep putting one foot in front of the other. And eventually we'll be there. Our due season will be there. But only God knows when our due season is, beloved. I pray that today that you would just hide his word in your heart that you may not sin against him. Meditate on his word day and night so your days will be prosperous, beloved. God is good, beloved. God is amazing. He loves us so much. He loves us so much, beloved. Everything is working for our good. Everything is working for our good. Whatever we're going through, beloved, it was good that we were afflicted, that we might know his statutes even the more. Because if we had not been afflicted, beloved, we would not be doing the things we're doing. We would not be in church. We would not be in our word. We would not be praying. We would not be doing the things that we are doing if we weren't afflicted. So it was good that we were afflicted, that we might know his statutes even the more. So, beloved, today, go and be blessed today. I love you and God loves you more. We're going to close out in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name. We honor you. We bless you. We thank you. We magnify you, Lord. We love you today, God. We lift you up today, God. You say if you be lifted up from the earth, you will draw all men unto you. Draw your people today, God. You say if we draw nigh to you, God, you will draw nigh to us, God. Lord, we're drawing nigh to you today, God. I pray you would draw nigh to us. Your word cannot lie. You said your word will accomplish everything you set out to, for it to do. It will not return unto you void. Now, Father God, we ask that you forgive us of any sins that we might have committed in your sight via thought, word, or deed. Anything that you told us to do, we yet to, we've yet to do. Father God, you said we confess our sins. You are faithful and you are just to not only forgive us, but to cleanse us from all, not some unrighteousness, but all unrighteousness, God. So I thank you for this day. I thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord God, that you've allowed us to see this day. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for protecting us last night while we slept and slumber, God. But thank you that, Father God, you didn't, you didn't sleep nor slumber. You were up watching, God. You were up taking care of your children. God. Thank you, O oh God, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your anointing, O oh God. Thank you for your encouraging word that even in 2018, Paul is still speaking. He spoke to the church of Galatia, said, be not weary in well-doing, but in due season, you will reap if you do not faint. So, Father God, we don't know what our due season is, but only you know, Father God. I pray that you would give your people, give my, give me, give us stamina, God. Give us endurance, God. Give us what we need, O oh God, to hold on, Lord God, to 
wait on you, God, to know that in due season, we will reap if we do not faint. Father God, we will not faint because we are in you, Christ Jesus. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So God, thank you for the strength today. Thank you for your word today. Thank you for us, for your people today. And thank you for what the, we're going to do with your word. We're going to meditate on it day and night, oh God. We're going to hide your word in our hearts that we may not sin against you, God. I pray, oh God, that today I said something that someone would be that would intrigue someone, God, to want to know you even the more, God. Lord, we are waiting on you. You are perfect. You are trustworthy. Everything you do, Father God, you do it well. You don't make any mistakes, oh God. Thank you for the trying times. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the stumbling blocks. Thank you for how you kept on keeping us, oh God, in spite of us. Thank you for your forgiveness of sin, oh God. Thank you, oh God, then you when you keep regulating our minds, oh God. Lord, thank you, oh God, for putting your arms around us and rocking us in the middle of the night, God. Thank you for comforting us, oh God. Thank you for being a good God, a mind regulator. Thank you for for being a heart fixer. Thank you for being a deliverer. Thank you for being a sustain, sustainer, God. Thank you for being a good God. Thank you for being a mighty God. Thank you for being a holy God. Thank you for being an all-knowing God. Thank you for being an all-sufficient God. Thank you for being all that you are, God. Thank you for your sovereignty, God. Thank you, Lord God, for being a protector, God. Thank you for being a provider, God. Thank you for being everything that you are to each of us, oh God. Lord, you are good and your mercy endured forever, oh God. Thank Thank you, oh God, for all that you're doing in this earth realm, oh God. And thank you for all that you're doing in the spiritual realm, that it will be manifest in the natural in our lives, oh God. Thank you for our due season, oh God. Give us the strength to hold on, oh God, to your unchanging hand, oh God. Thank you for loving us, oh God, in spite of us. Thank you for giving us unconditional love, oh God. Lord, thank you, God, for being who you are. Thank you for choosing us, God. Thank you for chasing us down, oh God, when we were living a life that was not pleasing to you. God. Thank you for loving us, God. Thank you that, oh God, you are good. Thank you for being a good God. Thank you for being merciful, God. Thank you, oh God, that you allowed my mama to see another year. Thank you, Lord God, that your grace is sufficient, oh God. Thank you, Lord God. We do not take it lightly, oh God, that we have parents, oh God. There are some that do not have parents today, oh God. I pray that you will comfort them right now like only you can, oh God. And we dare not take it lightly, oh God, that you've allowed us to still have our mother today, God. Lord, we ask that you will have mercy on all of us, oh God. Lord, those who are bereavement today, God, I pray that you will heal their hearts, oh God, that you would comfort them that on, like only a true and living God can, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you would have your word, the word that was spoken today, oh God. Help us not to grow weary, oh God, in well-doing, for we will, in due season, we will reap if we do not faint. Help us not to faint, oh God. Help us to keep our hand in your hand, oh God. Help us to keep our eyes on the prize, oh God. Help us not to get distracted when the enemy come up against us like a flood. Thank you for raising a standard against them, oh God. Thank you for all that you do in our lives, oh God. Thank you for all that you're going to do today, oh God. Lord, if it's anyone that's under the sound of my voice that does not know you as their personal Savior, oh God, I pray that you would touch their hearts, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you would give them a heart of flesh rather than a heart of stone, oh God. I pray that you would just forgive us of our sins, oh God. I pray that you would create in us a clean heart and that you would renew in us a right spirit. I pray, oh God, that you would allow them to accept you as their Lord and Savior, to confess with their mouth that Jesus is Lord and that they will believe in their heart that you died on your son, Jesus died on the cross for our sins and that on the third day morning he rose with all power in his hand thank you for the decisions that are going to be made today thank you for this opportunity i do not take it lightly oh god that you would allow me to be before your people oh god have have your way lord god have mercy on your people lord god we thank you in advance we give your name praise we give your name honor we give your name glory lord help your people not to be weary today lord god give us the courage that we need give us the strength that we need oh god give us the stamina that we need oh god Lord, thank you in advance for what you're getting ready to do, what you've already done, and what you're doing even right now in and through your people. It is in the most precious and matchless name of Jesus Christ. We do praise you with thanksgiving. Amen.